Hello there! Welcome back to Yumi Studio. Today I'm going to show how to style a vintage floral shirt that you can get anywhere at a thrift store. So let's get started! Floral collared shirts are one of the easiest items you can find in any thrift stores, but it can be a little hard to match with modern items without looking too outdated I guess. I bought this shirt because the pattern is so elegant and also I love this angled collar <laughs> and because the material is a bit thicker than you think, I think it can go well in any kind of seasons. look is for those like me who wants to go all vintage I guess. So I chose a H-line skirt vintage to add that vibe. But with the runner and the echo bag I wanted to add a little bit of a young twist. Um, I love adding runners on formal looks because it changes the whole atmosphere of the look. And this H-line skirt, it does have a little checkered and a dark tone in it, but because it's so thin, I can wear it um, in spring and summer as well. So if you want to look a little bit of, ooh, I know how to dress vintage without looking too overboard, you can give it a try. One of the important elements that I have here, I matched with a choker necklace because I thought the color matches as well and adds that trendy, cute look. Second look is for those who want the modern twist. Maybe a bit more like a downtown look, going for a wine and cheese on a weekend look, but not too formal, you know? I wore a beige white pants, but it can be with jeans, skinny pants, or anything that might support the shirt. I match with my little bag from Korea, and I think these jeans um, are very stretchy, but very comfortable down the bottom, so I really enjoy to wear them. And they also look very free and um, kind of young as well. I added a point of red to enhance the whole color palette. And slip-ons can make my ankle look very small. <laughs> and I love the red on leather. It kind of reminds me of Dorothy shoes in a slip-on leather version, I guess. The third look is for those who just want to look a little girly, lovely, and lively. I don't know why, but overalls make me look like a plan shop owner. <laughs> but I usually wear overalls on my photo shoots because it's really comfortable. But of course, it can definitely be substituted by any different kind of overalls or overall dresses like this if it doesn't clash with the pattern. I matched with a bag here, which is a small spec that I own, <laughs> but I thought the red not go bad with denim at all anytime, right? Um, I love the length of this overalls. It's comfortable to walk around and it matches perfectly with my shirt. I matched with another choker here. Um, this is a lace one to look a little bit more lovely. I do prefer light colored chokers because I think they look less um, choking. <laughs> The fourth look, I wanted to create a bit of a romantic vibe, but in a very subtle way. Maybe this could be the older version from the last young blanche of owner. Maybe she's been owning for like 10 years or something. I actually um, got the skirt from Japan years ago, and really, I think Japanese clothing quality is so good. It's so well made, and it 
last so long. Um, I actually wear this skirt very often at home because it's so comfortable. But I think at the same time, it's so well made and cute um, to be part of one of my outfits. I think matching pattern on pattern, it's important to look at the similar brightness of the color hue so it doesn't clash. I think this worked well because the skirt's pattern was very, very soft. shirt maybe from your grandma or one you got from a thrift store that's sitting in the back of your closet i think you should try to dress up try different items on and enjoy the spring Thanks for visiting UB Studio today and